The new CAT M-Series small wheelers are packed with features to make your work easy. Let's have a look at some of those new features together. Come on in. Now to help you keep your M-Series small wheeler up and running, it's gonna come with product link as standard. We're also gonna bring preventative maintenance reminders right here to the secondary display. So as you approach a service interval, you're gonna get a reminder so that you can schedule your downtime. Now the EPA stage four final, EU stage four engine in the M-Series small wheeler has been designed to manage itself it's gonna automatically regenerate as needed at a low temperature so you can concentrate on your work. Now the engine does require diesel exhaust fluid, also known as AdBlue. So let's have a look at how to manage those fluids and how to manage those preventative maintenance reminders. Come on in and let's have a look. Now the M-Series small wheelers are gonna give you friendly reminders when preventative maintenance intervals are due. It's gonna notify you through the secondary display with a countdown so you can schedule your downtime. Let's have a look at what that display information is gonna look like together. Into information. Navigate down to service. Into service and make a choice on preventative maintenance. And you'll get the countdown relative to each individual service interval. Now this machine happens to have 84 hours on it, which means in 416 hours, we're gonna to need to do that 500 hour service. And as we get closer to that required interval, the secondary display at startup is gonna prompt us, hey, in 50 hours, hey, in 25 hours, hey, it's time to go ahead and do that service interval, allowing you to schedule your downtime. Now, once you've completed that service interval, we can go in and clear the reminder, but we need to go into service mode to do it. Let's have a look at how to do that together. So as we back out of our preventative maintenance screen, navigate to service mode, and we'll need to put in a code. Now this happens to be one, two, three, four on this machine, but that code can be customized for you relative to what your needs are with the help of your dealership. Once service mode is enabled, we can go back to our preventative maintenance screen and we now have the ability to clear a service reminder with the click of a button. And this system works in concert with our product link, which is now standard on the M-Series small wheeler. So both you, the operator, and your fleet manager are gonna see the same information. Now when you key the M-Series small wheelers off, it's gonna automatically start to purge the death or the add blue out of the engine. Now as we navigate to the back of the machine to kill the master disconnect for the evening, notice that there's an amber light and that's telling us that it's doing a full death purge. 80 seconds it will purge and then do a complete electrical shutdown. Now with the M-Series small wheel loader, we have designed in a keep alive system that even if you kill that master disconnect, we're gonna to continue to purge that death, giving you a complete safe purge and electrical shutdown. Now best practice, you can still wait for the amber light to go out, but if you do kill that master disconnect before the death purge is complete, the machine is gonna protect you and it's gonna automatically do it for you. Now at Caterpillar, we understand that making service easy means that it's more likely to get done. Now with the introduction of the M-Series small wheel loaders, when you get the auxiliary lighting package, we're also gonna light the way for underhood daily service checks. We've brought an LED lamp to the coolant level, one here for the diesel fuel, and one here for the oil check to make that service interval easy. The CAT C7.1 engine in the family of M-Series small wheelers is tier four final, stage four emission compliant. It's been designed to manage itself so you don't have to. It's gonna automatically regenerate as needed. It's gonna do it at a low temperature with no bells, no lights, no gauges for you to monitor. It's gonna manage itself. Now we've equipped the clean emission module with a fit for life 
diesel particulate filter. We don't believe you're ever going to have to touch this clean emission module. Put this machine to work, it's going to manage itself. Now you will have to put both diesel fuel and diesel exhaust fluid or add blue into this machine. Now you can run biodiesels up to B20 in this machine, but that's the limit. Now the diesel exhaust fluid, also known as Add Blue fill port, is going to be right here on the same side as the diesel fill with the M series small wheel loader. Now as you open this panel, you'll notice that we've got a cheat sheet for you. So before you get out of the cab, you can look at your diesel level on the primary display. You'll also notice your diesel exhaust fluid level on the primary display. And this is going to tell you, based off the indicator gauge, how much diesel exhaust fluid or add blue that we need to put into the tank. Now testing has shown that the diesel exhaust fluid burn is about 2% relative to the diesel burn. What that means to you is every fourth time that you fill the machine full of diesel, you're going to have to top off the death. Now of course, if you want to top off the death every day, absolutely you can but you can extend that service interval with this low burn of diesel exhaust fluid. Now with preventative maintenance reminders where you can schedule your downtime and an engine that's gonna manage itself so that you can manage your uptime, the M-Series small wheel loaders are a good choice for you. The M-Series small wheel loaders have been packed with features to help you and your business be successful. For more information, please contact your cat dealer. Now let's go to work.